how to get big on YouTube. Now, I may only have 100 subscribers, but I do have a few tips that might help you grow. So the first tip for me is just have relevant content. By relevant, I don't mean like upload nothing but Fortnite or whatever. It may be a popular game, but like something that you enjoy that's relevant. Like something that's talked about. Ways to grow on YouTube. That's what I'm doing. It's relevant. People want to know how to grow on YouTube. Like videos like that. Like if you like Fortnite or whatever, like go ahead and make videos like that. But I'm just saying like things like commentaries, things like that. I'm definitely not saying to do like Lele Pons type of like terrible Instagram comedy sketch stuff. So yeah, that's my first tip. My second tip is to put hard work into your videos. Now, what people want is consistency and quality. If your videos are only like formatted in 480p quality and you're like uploading a video from your PlayStation or your computer, people won't want to watch that type of content. Like you need good quality videos. Like you need 1080p, well at least 720p to 1080p. I'm not saying that you need like 4K quality in your videos because not everybody has that capability. With me, I upload 720 videos from my PlayStation because my editing software caps it at 720 because it's a free program. I'm not saying that you have to spend over a hundred dollars on Sony Vegas. Sorry, I'm like a little bit tired so I'm like <laughs> sounding like I'm on the verge of breaking down or something. Sorry. <laughs> but like what you should do is as I said like maybe get a free editing software that will fit your computer's needs, that will fit your needs, that will fit your subscribers needs. If you have money that you plan on blowing on like expensive software like Photoshop and Sony Vegas. Like, spend it if you want. It's your money. <laughs> so. But I just use simple programs like Lightworks. So, yeah. Like, I do have Photoshop, but I got that for free. Yeah. So. But, and that's all I have to say. Well, you also want to have, like, videos in quantities. Like with me, like you need a consistent upload schedule. With me, I do not because I don't have time for consistency and uploads and like I could go from uploading, let's see, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks, one week. That's basically like what I do, but it's not a way to grow. Like you want to have consistent uploads. Like maybe one video a week or one video every Monday and Friday. Like something similar to that. If you don't have time for it by any means, like upload one video a month. As long as people know your upload schedule and know when you're going to upload. Like keep your subscribers notified on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or whatever you use. So that's my little lecture about consistency and quality. <laughs> Another thing you want to have on your videos is, like, now, like, with me saying, like, the consistency and quality, I'm talking about, like, the video itself. So this is going to be with thumbnails. With your thumbnail, you want something related to the video that will also catch your viewers' eyes. So, like, with me, my thumbnails, like, sometimes they'll be from the game itself because there are a lot of streams. But then, like, with my Super Mario Odyssey... A picture of Mario with Cappy over him. Let's play Super Mario Odyssey Part 2 right next to it. The dinosaur from Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey Part 1, just above it. Splatoon 2 challenge with CB Gaming. Like, it shows the picture from Splatoon 2. 100 subscriber Q&A. It says 100 subscriber Q&A in the thumbnail. Now, if you look at my views, like, that'll also signify, like, I barely got any views, and I started putting more, like, effort into my videos. Like, the ones where you could see the effort in my videos, you could see just how much, like, effort works on YouTube. So that's what I have to say about thumbnails and whatnot. Also, you're going to want to keep on checking your subscriber count, because you want to see how much subscribers you gain in a day or a month. Like, if I go into my... YouTube Creator Studio, where is it? 
I know I have the app. Okay, YT Studio. So if I go into the app, I could click subscriber change plus seven. That means I gained seven subscribers in the past like month. I've had one thousand minutes in watch time in the past month. I've had two hundred eighty one views in the past month. Well, twenty eight days. Average view duration. That's something you want to look for. Which, mine isn't the greatest. 3.35. I mean, 3 minutes, 35 seconds. Subscribers, last 28 days. 7. If you want to check real time, or 24 hours, last 7 days. Like, you can check that. No data. That means I didn't gain any subscribers in the past week. Last month, I gained 7, and I lost 3. Last 3 months... I gained 22. Last year, I gained 39. Lifetime, I gained 100. So what I'm trying to say is you want to keep track of your stats. You also want to check, like, your watch time from subscribed and not subscribed. Most of my watch time is from my subscribed. 52.1% of my views are from subscribed watchers. Not subscribed, 47.9. You want those not subscribed to turn into the subscribed category on your channel. Like versus dis the like versus dislike. Ninety percent last twenty eight days, previous period, ninety five point zero. You wanna be able to have like good like you wanna stay in the gold or silver category. You don't wanna be anything below fifty percent. Or if like think of this as a test and seventy percent is a failing grade. You don't want anything below 70%. So, like, revenue, if you're able to turn that on, which you're trying to grow on YouTube, which you probably won't have that turned on, because you need, I believe, a thousand subscribers and four thousand, or, yeah, four thousand, like, hours worth of watch time in a year, I believe. I'm not sure if it's minutes or hours, but, like, it's four thousand something. Like, that'll be able to be turned on. Discovery, you want to check this. This is also important. Like, traffic traffic source types. Channel pages, that means somebody is viewing your videos because they found it on somebody else's channel. Browse features, that means they're searching for your channel. Notifications, that means that they're opening up your videos through the notification that they get. If they turn on the bell. Suggested videos, which means your video was in the recommended area of another video. So it means that your video is recommended to the person and they clicked on your video because it caught their attention. YouTube search means they searched your channel or video name. Director unknown. That means like they directly saw your video and went through that. External, that means other reasons, other YouTube features, other reasons. Then playlist, they found your videos through somebody's playlist. Granted, if it's yours or somebody else's. You have top external sources. Like, you, Yahoo Search, that's what I was found on most. Unknown or infrequent. And Google Search. Top YouTube search um, terms. Mine, reacting to Steven Universe Vines. Archbody XE. Fortnite Trolls. Then he plays. Nickelback saving me Nightcore. Dead Meat Editing Livestream. Editing my livestream. Dead Meat. Small Fortnite YouTuber. Dead Meat Livestream Editing. Singing Friend Please. Dead Meat Editing Livestreams. Christian Shawl Horse. Dead Meat Livestream Editing a Video. Freaks Lost Footage. <laughs> I know what video that was. <laughs> Dead Meat Livestream. Ed dead me editing, tentacle. What's a tentacle ring? Download downloading Friday, the thirteenth on PlayStation Four. That was found for through the past month. Top of video suggesting your content. Mirai Nikki best Yunogasai moments. Spoilers. Was found through anime, I guess. Fortnite trolls. Little Pump Wannabe Makes Diss Track with 14-Year-Old. Jason's Little Imposter. Friday the 13th Game. Number 52. Feet Sat. Swag. Momo. Essica Singing Northern Downpour by Panic at the Disco and Attempt 
not to break down and cry, and a Luke is a douche bag. <laughs> like, this tells you a lot. Audience, gender. Okay, let's go through the past lifetime of my channel. Gender, male 100 per This can't be true, male 100%? No, that's not true. Um, like, age range. I don't know why all this is, like, inconsistent when it used to be, like, extremely consistent. Now this says 25 to 34 year olds watch my content. Top countries, US, Spain, UK, Brazil, Australia, Ireland, Germany, and Lebanon all watch my videos. Interactive content tells you about, like, your teaser picks, clicks per cards, top cards. Like, I'm going into depth on, like, how this stuff works and how you could, like, add on to your channel. Like, if there's another region watching your, like, channel, then what you want to do is you want to make, like, region-friendly videos. Like, if you play something like FIFA, play as a region or against a region or something. Like, if you play a game where you can, like, choose regions or whatever, just to show them that, like, you know they exist or whatever. I don't know. But, like, try and do something similar to that. Like, check everything that happens and try to make, like, content that your viewers would like. If you want different types of viewers, like, if you have more male viewers than female viewers, try and make videos, like, that females would enjoy, but also keep males enjoying it. Like, a book review f or something. Like, females would probably like something similar to that, and if it's a book that a guy would want to read or something, they look forward to that. I don't know. But, that's what I want to say about that. <laughs> I went on way too long talking about analytics on your channels and everything. Also, pay attention to your video's comments. Like, if somebody gives you, like, tips... Like, this is a good game. Continue making videos on that game, which I really didn't, and I probably should because Tony Hawk's Underground is really fun. Somebody suggested I play Super Mario Odyssey when I got my Switch, before I got it, which I did. Somebody commented, this is probably, like, more of these... Like, you, you're gonna get comments like this. Great video, mate. Definitely got a new sub. Keep up the great work. By the way, if you have time, could you please check out my channel? Give a bit of feedback and maybe sub, and I hope to see more great content soon. Those are people trying to get publicity for their channel. You could check your spam section, which I don't have anything in currently. I used to have a lot in there. Hold for a review. If you want to review your comments, you'll see them there, if you're a smaller channel. Publish, these are just the comments that you're able to see. Like, like somebody called me out for uploading late at night, which I could change by uploading earlier. N nice, but not nice. Which means that my singing was good, but it wasn't good at the same time, so try and improve my singing. Because it was on a singing video. But this type of stuff helps your channel. Do what your viewers want, unless it's something like crazy and something you don't want to do. Like, if they're suggesting that you play something, take their suggestion, ugh, suggestions. Open yourself up to what your viewers want to see. Like, I want to make more commentary-like videos like I am now. And that's something that people will want to see, commentaries. But that's, like, mainly what you want to see for your analytics. Your comments and your ratios with your viewers. So, that's mainly all about that main, like, part of YouTube. <laughs> like, those are the m most important tips I'm gonna give you. Actually, this is gonna be the most important tip I'm gonna give you for YouTube and outside of YouTube. Be yourself. Never try to be somebody else. <laughs> I learned this from a very important friend of mine. Somebody I care about very much. So, if they see this video, they'll know who they are. I just don't want to say their name because privacy reasons, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the information I gave you for how to grow on YouTube. If you want to see like me actually try what I put that out and like actually try to do the tips I gave you, because I don't do much things that I just told you to do, 
and you want me to like do like something over a week and show you how my channel grew over that week, I will. And see how you guys enjoy the content. And what you also will want to see, going back to analytics, is your subscriber to view ratio. Like if you have 100 subscribers and you're getting 50 views, that means half of your subscribers watch your videos. If you have zero subs if you have like 10 subscribers and you're getting 20 views, that's over two times your subscriber amount. And that means that people are watching your videos, but it doesn't always mean that they're interested. But like if you have people subscribe to you and you have less than half of those people watching your videos, that means that people subscribe to your channel for like a few videos and don't watch your channel. So yeah. But those are all the tips I had to give you, so I'm gonna, probably going to do, like, over a week, like, documenting how my channel grew. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to end it off here. So see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, turn on the bell notification if you haven't already, to see when I upload new videos. Subscribe to, your channel f subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and you want to see more like it. Like the video if you like the content that is in it. Comment down below if you want to see more commentary similar to this or if you want me to go to gaming and singing more than I am. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.